Thomas was a dinghy who lived at a big station. He had six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy bottom, and a short stumpy dome. He was the first little engine. I was pulling coaches a bit. He pulled them to the station, waited for big engines to take a long journey. And when the trains came in and the people got out, he would pull the empty coach away so that the big engines could go and rest. He was a cheeky little engine too. He thought no engine worked as hard as he did, so he used to play tricks on him. He liked best of all to come quietly beside a big engine, dozing on the siding, and make him jump. Beep, 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 beep. Wake up, lazy bones, he would whistle. Why don't you work hard like me? Then he would laugh rudely and run away to find some more coaches. One day, Gavin was resting in the siding. He was very tired. The biggest brakes he had pulled had been late, and he had to run as fast as he could to make up for the last time. He was just going to sleep when Thomas came up in his cheeky way. Wake up, lazy bones, he whistled. Do some hard work for change. You can't catch me. And he ran out laughing. Is it going to sleep again? Gordon farted. How we could pay Thomas out. One morning, Thomas wouldn't wake up. His driver and fireman couldn't make him start. His fire went out and there was not enough steam. It was nearer time for the express. The people were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. At last, Thomas started. Oh dear, oh dear, he yawned. Come on, said the coaches, hurry up. Thomas gave him a rude bump and started for the station. Don't stop dawdling, don't stop dawdling, he grumbled. Where have you been? Where have you been? asked Coach Grassley. Thomas burst into the station where Gordon was waiting. Boop, 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 hurry up you, said Gordon Grassley. Beep, 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 hurry yourself, said Jake Thomas. Yes, sir, Gordon, I will. And almost before the coaches had stopped moving, Gordon came out of his siding and was coupled to the train. Boop, boop, he whistled. Get in quickly, please. So the people got in quickly. The signal went down. The clock struck the hour, and the guard waved his green flag, and Gordon was ready to start. Thomas usually pulled behind the pushed behind the big trains to help him start. But he was always uncoupled first. So that when the train was running nicely, he, he could stop and go back. This time he was late, and Gordon started so quickly that they forgot to uncouple Thomas. Boop, boop, said Gordon. Beep, 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 whistled Thomas. Come on, come on, buffed Gordon to the coaches. Pull harder, pull harder. Buff Thomas to Gordon. The heavy train slowly began to move out of the station. The train went faster and faster, too fast for Thomas. He wanted to stop, but he couldn't. Beep, beep, stop, stop. Hurry, 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 laughed Gordon in front. You can't get away, you can't get away, laughed the coaches. Poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. He was out of breath. And his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on. I shall never be the same again, he thought sadly. My wheels be quite worn out. At last, they stopped at the station. Everyone laughed to see Thomas buffing and patting behind. They uncoupled him, put him on the turntable, and then he ran out of a siding out of the way. Well, little Thomas, chuckled Gordon as he passed. Now you know what hard work means, don't ya? Poor Thomas couldn't answer. He had no breath. He just puffed slowly away to rest. And had a long, long drink. 
He went home very slowly and was careful afterwards to never be cheeky to party again.